Arena 10 with Lava Hound, Golem, Ram Rider, Hunter. That unlocks so many things. That gives you Golem. It gives you E-Barbs. And now Royal Giant's viable with the Hunter with Lava Hound. And of course, you can play 2.6, Log Bait. All of these are really viable decks. Do you like, if you're good with Bait, then play Bait. If you're good with Cycle, Hog Rider, Ram Rider is really good. This is pretty free to play friendly, but not as friendly as everyone that uses Code OJ. Thank you for your support. This deck really, really shines in Double Elixir. So I could do Golem first. Oh, it's so wrong, but so good. If only we had Night Witch in this arena, it'd make 100% sense. We're going to wait for the wizard. There we go. And then Mega Minion for the extra oomph so that the balloon does not connect. Boom. I said does not connect. Dang it. Okay. Wow, that witch destroyed my Mega Minion. Well, my baby dragon's destroying everything else, so it, it, it kind of balances out. All right. We're going to do a Skarmy, and then we're going to knock things back. And then to prevent the witch from killing way too many things, I'm using a baby dragon to tank for everything else. Skarmy just wrecks them. I'm still under leveled, by the way. All of my cards are level 7. I hope a level 7 lightning kills him. Excellent. Splendiferous. Oh, he used P.E.K.K.A. I'm just going to go up the bridge. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I wish I had Goblin Barrel right now. That is so value for him. Oh, wow. Using an Inferno Dragon on top of all of that? Okay. Scar me on there. I'm going to need to Barbarian Barrel if they have Zap or anything crazy. Nothing. All right. That's perfect. And I'm just going to go for it for the Prince. Maybe I'll distract the Witch with the Barbarian Barrel and counter the Inferno Dragon. That's pretty good. Okay. Prince gets one hit. I could Lightning them out if I absolutely need to. I'm just going to go for a minion right there. And then we're going to Scar me. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. We're just going to push all the way up. Golem death damage. Yup. Nice. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. That's it. We're just going to snowball that. Could have been close. Skarmy balloon could have connected. Potato, potato. But look at the level differential. That was pretty juicy. And we have a bit of a different play style. We've got E-Barb Freeze. Oh. Freaking level 10 princess. Are you serious? You're joking. The level 10 princess doesn't die to one hit to a Mega Minion. That's so illegal. I am going to E-Barb rush him so hard. So hard. Thank you, Ice Golem, for taking the one hit. Did I overreact? Nah. That was him that overreacted. Oh, no. Level 7 Musketeer versus uh, all of that noise. Let's do a little Ice Golem a little bit higher up. Oh, that freaking princess? Level 10 princess against my Musketeer? Oh. oh. Two hits on the Mega Minion. Existence is pain. Oh, wow. They're overcommitting. I'm going to counter that level 7 Ice Wizard or Electro... Electro Wizard? Regular Wizard! With my E-Barns. <laughs> did Prince. You fool! You've activated my trap card! Come on, show me the Skarmy. Hello there. Oh, I missed one skeleton. I don't mind that. I could vibe that. Okay, we're going to kind of kite them. It's going to take out the skeleton. One hit the goblins. Okay. Double elixir. Or do, do we do it? We're doing it. We are heckin' doing it. Everything's gonna disintegrate. That wizard, that princess, e barbs oh my goodness. No mercy. Did I overcommit on that? Maybe. Uh, you have to deal with a freaking prince now. Oh dear. Now I need a Mega Minion on there. Oh, prince, don't. He had a balloon this whole time. Oh, goodness gracious. We're gonna have to do a musketeer then. Right now. Yes! I hate that I had to do that for the princess, but we're gonna do an ice golem to tank, sure. E barbs are just so good. It is illegal that they're this good. Hog 2.6 works really, really well. If you are blessed with a Ram Rider, Ram 2.8, it works. It works. Trust. Just trust. What's nice about this deck is that you, you almost never have a bad starting hand. You can start with whatever you want. I'm just going to fireball that. Just because I don't 
know if my ice spirit would have survived. It's a level seven ice spirit. I'm just gonna go in with a ram rider. We're gonna kite the knight, slow him down, and we'll just cycle to the skeletons. Ram rider's still going on hot. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a cannon in the other lane, and then I'm gonna separate it so they can't fireball value that. Oh my goodness, my ram rider is still alive. I didn't even need that musketeer. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm just gonna do an ice golem in the pocket. We're gonna we're just gonna end this as quick as we can. Is this a bot? Are we gonna face bots from now on? Okay. We're gonna do that deck again. It didn't feel quite right. It's too easy. Oh man. It is so tempting. No, we're just gonna do skeletons. Did I just do a ram rider in the back? What? That was a misclick. Alright, well, I guess we're committing now. Valkyrie's stuck too, so that's the nice thing about Ram Rider. And she one-shots the skeletons that are trying to take her out. Oh, shoot. I was not expecting a baby dragon. We're going to have to log that, and then we're going to have to split my skelly skellies. <sighs> they didn't split in time. That would have taken them out. <sighs> no, that's it. I'm just going to go into the Ram Rider because they, they committed way too much elixir. But they had enough of the Skarmy. Okay. This is my life now. And he has a heckin' Inferno Dragon. At least my Ice Golem does not even kill Skarmy. Okay. Give me that Skarmy. Give me that Skarmy. Oh, yeah! Ice Golem in the pocket. Musketeer in the hole. The nice thing with the Ram Rider, she's dealing damage. Let's... Fireball that baby dragon and oh no oh oh dear looks like we're logging this oh that is fireball value heck yeah I'm gonna sacrifice the can I sh far looking back fireball would have been the way better play like way better nah nah we're just gonna defend with that with skeletons. Rider connects. Oh. My goodness, they are so aggressive. <laughs> there ain't no way. This, this is it. Here we go. Ice goal in there to tank for the princess tower. That's it. Given my beginning misplays, this deck, it, it's versatile, but it's very easy to make mistakes. Golem's gonna be way easier. Roll Giant's gonna be easier. Lava Hound, oh, we haven't done this one yet. This one's gonna be fantastico. All the really big tanky decks, the beatdown decks, they shine really well in double elixir. So mostly just, you just defend until double elixir. That witch is gonna wreck my tombstone. So we'll fireball it, why not? Or for five, we do a little damage to the tower. Tombstone's gonna kind of stop the witch. And I'm going to do a Mega Minion in the back, just so that it's going to slowly defend that Valkyrie. I definitely want that alive, so... Oh, they did Fireball, so we're going to do a Tombstone to, to distract that Prince and the Inferno Dragon. I'm okay with this. Well, and then we zap him and resets the tower. It's Lava Hound time! The magic's gonna be in the minions and the zap. Oh, this person's serious. We're gonna have to surround the heck out of that. Oh, frick, I missed my zap. Dang it. Okay, let's fireball that in front of We didn't get a single thing. You know what? I'm okay with this. He's got fireball. I've got fireball. Potato, potato. I'm going to have to let that Valkyrie do its thing. Tombstone to slowly trickle in and kind of stop the Dark Prince. Yeah, yeah, we got we got to get rid of that. Oh, dear. This person means serious business. My goodness. They are applying so much pressure. Oh, dear. Oh, the princes, they connect. We cut this out. We cut this out. <laughs> also, it doesn't help that all my cards are level 7. Well, the idea is to do stuff behind the Lava Hound. Oh, Fireball Value. Yes! yes, 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 yes. 
All right, the witch is locked on the lava hound. Now we can do minions. Let's get rid of all them skeletons. And it's going to lock into the witch. Take out the witch. And we're good. Now we go in with a balloon. No one knows how to handle the... Oh, jeez. Oh, she just wrecked everyone and everything in existence that was part of that. But my balloon's still going strong. My balloon is not strong. It, it has no health at level 7. That's so unfortunate. Oh, my lava pumps took out the princess, though. That's all we really need in life. I'm going to do lava hunt a little bit earlier just so that the witch locks on. So my minions can just go straight to the witch. Oh, beautiful. Dream team right there. Okay, maybe not so dreamy. That witch actually did a lot of damage, more than I would have liked. Level 7 stuff does not take care of the... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to need to brute force that out of here. Get rid of the witch. Yeah, no, that's not going to get through. I had to fireball that princess. All right, let's get it. My minion's going to destroy that Skarmy. Going to fireball the witch. Balloons tanking for the Lava Hound. That's the beauty in this. Well, it should be. Uh, I'm handicapping myself, but normally a level 9 balloon would be really good. Then we got Roll Giant. Got a little happy Valkyrie. I'm just going to cycle my skeleton so I can do my furnace. Oh yeah, furnace is going to slowly trickle away at that Valkyrie. I'm going to need a baby dragon for that low. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a freaking balloon. Which, by the way, my Mega Minion and Hunter counter very, very, very well. I'm going to tank that with my Giant. And he's going to get hits on the tower and defend against it. Big brain plays there. Oh, I, I had my finger on my temple. Oh, if I had my finger on the game, I would have been able to log that. would have been great. But now we have to go Furnace. Yes, but now I have a Roll Giant. And you have no Skarmy. That's, that's fantastic. We got lightning. That's it. Here's the big push. I know they're going to have Skarmy. No Skarmy. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. Then I'm just going to lightning just a little bit in the corner. Royal Giant would not work if he was level 9. So you want to get the furnace up if you're going to commit to a Royal Giant deck. Of course, bait, solid, versatile. The only thing you really, really, really need to focus on is getting your goblin barrel up because a plus one zap will completely take it out and that's not a good time. <sighs> Don't do Princess the Bridge. Ah, I'm rushing. Don't rush because that'll happen. Because they'll rush back and then you'll you'll get wrecked. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that fireball for? <laughs> Also, level 7 Ice Spirit is not going to cross the river, so I'm going to put it a little bit further back so I can do my barrel. So I can kind of tank two arrow shots from the princess. I'll do a Valkyrie. Why not? We'll, we'll, we'll tank that baby dragon. Let's go. And then princess at the bridge. Let's go. Maybe we'll log all of that out. Do I need an Ice Spirit? Yeah, sure. You can't get through log bait. It, it defends everything. No, I used fireball. With my Inferno Tower still up, Princess of the Bridge actually kind of makes sense because when they counterattack, they've got to deal with that Inferno Tower now or the Inferno Tower is going to defend it. Look at that. One Archer hit. That's it. Oh. This is giving log value. I love it. You will have the Hog Rider. There it is. Uh, do I need a nice spirit? Mm, not really, but we'll just let it fly anyways. Also, the log wrecks the archer tower or the ar regular archers. I don't even need to rock it. Oh, I, I goofed up. I goofed up so hard. That's fine. That's bait. It's classic. It's annoying. It's versatile. It, it counters everything. Except when it gets countered by quadruple spell decks, then that's miserable. I'm kind of vibing the golem one. I think next arena, I'm going to need to jack everyone up to level eight. Minimum. Level seven spirits don't connect. We're good. 
Anything? Oh, a goblin gang. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. I want to surround that. I want to take my time. Pretty good. Got a wizard. Got a musketeer. I'm ready. I want to lightning you. He's got a, an ice wizard. He's down a bit of elixir as well. We're going to tank that. It, it tickles my ice golem and it kind of slows him down. So think of it as putting him down a little bit further back here. Oh, he's got a bandit. That is going to deal so much damage to my tower. We're going to need to snowball it a little bit. So far, so good. Prince connected. Fireball is not going to stop him. we got a pretty hefty push going on. Why not? Golem death damage on the tower. The worst. The worst. He barbs to tank Skarmy? Excuse me? What? Nah, he's down so much. We're going in. He's going to have Goblin Gang. All right. He knew he lost. Oh. There we go. Speed run. Uh-oh. He's level seven. You got to be scared of the lower levels. Not sure how I feel about Golem first play there right now. It's a base race. Oh my goodness, that baby dragon got wrecked. Oh, oh. And I missed my lightning. Golem first play was not the play there. Barbarian, please take out the wizard. Nice. And those minions though. Double elixir in 10 seconds. This is where we're going to shine. He's going to have the Inferno Tower. I'm going to have lightning for it. Maybe I'll do a Skarmy. <laughs> Predicted! You know what? We're just going to lightning those three things. Totally okay. Totally okay. Oh, he's got a Skarmy too. All right, then I've got a Snowball. That damage on the tower? Yes. Yes. Let's get it. All right. Just gotta play it cool. Oh my goodness. Lightning deals 200 damage. I'm not getting through. The moment I saw that level 7, I knew I was destined to lose. I think it's time. We're not gonna over level everything, but I think I need level 8 cards. Let's do this. I'm annoyed. Oh, that's obnoxious. At least my Barbarian Barrel is going to tank for this. And then maybe I'll do a Lightning on there. I think I could have defended that better. Inferno Tower. Prince is still going to connect and get a hit on there. I'm going to... I'm just going to Golem the other lane now that he doesn't have Inferno Tower. <laughs> Feel the pain. Oh. Fancy Pants here with the uh, Mega Knight. That damage is going to kill the princess. Beautiful. Didn't kill the princess. I did not kill the princess. The princess instead killed my Mega Minion. Well, at least I can Goblin Barrel his wizard. I hate that I had to do Skarmy to counter that. Oh my goodness. So aggressive with the princess. At least he got one skeleton. He's got to defend now. Is he a wizard? Nothing. All right. Double elixir. This is where we shine. You do not rock at a gold. They're doomed. Wait for it. Wait for it. Lightning. On there. Oh, he did a princess on top of there? No way. That's that's it. I'm just waiting for me to take the, the tower on this side. So I can do a scar me. Mega Minion's going to tank for the Skarmy. Should be just almost enough to get two crowns. Almost. That was such a huge difference to get everything to level eight. One game away from the next arena. Level eight Golem is great. No, no clan did a night placement there as level six minions. Oh no. Is this how we get to 3,400 with a bot game? I'm just gonna do a baby dragon so it can tank. All right, let's 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 end it. A little disappointing. We got a bot match on our final one. 
Matchmaking wasn't even long. Why did I get paired with a bot? On my final one. All those trophies. Electro Valley. Let's get it. Sparky. We need Sparky so bad. This is so absurd. I'm only going to play Sparky in the next video. That's it for this. These are all the decks. They're pretty versatile. Pick what you like. If you like Expo, if you like Bait, if you like Lava Hound, Beat Down, Roll Giant. This one, I feel it could have done better if I had level 8 cards. I got to start bringing my cards up higher. That's it for this. If you want to check out more videos up there, if you want to subscribe, hit the bell button there. Thanks for watching.